Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Look at that. What do you got? This wow. huge carving. Look at this. These are obviously petroglyphs. How intricate they are. That is so cool. That, that thing is huge. Yeah, look at the, the headdress on it there. Uh -huh. That's got to be like a ruler or a king or a chief. And what is the circle? What does that represent? World? Planet? It's a little bit out of my realm here. You know, the story of the, of the lost gold dates back to the Aztecs. So these petroglyphs even look like they could be Aztec, possibly. I don't know. But in one, kind of looks like uh, uh, Montezuma. I agree. They do have sort of an Aztec look to right. it. Yeah. This kind of lines up with what the historian told me just the other day. According to the legend, the Aztec took their gold north and stored it in the U.N. mountains. When things line up this neatly, I tend to get a little bit suspicious, but it's kind of starting to look pretty good. Get some pictures of them. Chad, would you mind climbing up there so I can get some scale? Yeah, yeah. This one looks more like a child here. Yeah, that's cool. That seems really evident to me. Like, yeah. There's a, a royal family. This must be the rulers that, that were immortalized in stone. We need to get these images back to Dwayne. Dwayne needs to see, yeah, yeah. He needs to he see needs this. this. We were working our way around up here. Right, right. And um, we came around the corner, and we looked up, and bam, there's these big ancient petroglyphs carved into the rock. Wow. And um, it was just like, wow. and, um, so, Dwayne, here are some of the images um, oh, really? that we took. Okay. Oh, um, wow. Look at that. You see that a headdress right underneath the neck? Um, there's Chad. You can see the scale of the whole thing. That's, one, that's the family unit. If those are the Aztec markings, it's huge. But we're not experts. What if it's marking a Native American burial ground? I know it's got you guys excited but it's got me more worried. And if there's a burial ground out here, it shuts this whole son of a bitch down. So we need to do some investigating as far as we can go back. If we do run into something, we shut it down ourselves. We don't have to be told to be respectful mm -hmm. to the Indian nations or anything like that. Yeah. Um, that's a no-brainer on this deal. Yeah. I'll get on that this week. Well, you know, the, the, the depiction of the one with all the, the headdressing, the regalia, and all that, that that they had on, that was kind of Montezuma-looking stuff. Yeah, I don't know the word regalia, so I'm not going to do that. Those petroglyphs, though, is pretty, pretty Yeah, neat. that was pretty neat. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. So I know it's my dad's job to kind of worry about burial grounds and stuff like that, but us finding these petroglyphs, I mean, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, it's pretty neat to realize that. Those things were made like late 1300. I'm hoping that those petroglyphs could be a, a big clue. Yeah, it could be part of the, uh, where the original source of this treasure right, came yeah. from, the Aztecs. Wayne was excited too, but he had some concerns. What would they do if there is a burial ground here? They'll, they'll have to report it. Do the Indians or? The Indians will come in, yep, yeah, and, and it'll become sacred ground, basically. So you'd risk not only shutting it down, but you could potentially risk a portion of your property. Yeah, and rightly so. If it's a graveyard or something like that, my goodness. Yeah. What the Charlie boy, you better come up here by the ponds. Looks like we got another one. Copy that. Be there in a minute. Damn, another one? Same type of scenario, it looks to me like. This some buck was mutilated. It's the same damn thing. Ripped the head off. Kind of makes you wonder if somebody ain't leaving a message here. Where's Chadro at? I hadn't seen him in a little while. Hey, Chadro, better come and look at this by the ponds. It's 
still dripping. Damn sure got some liquid coming out of him. It was just laying here? Mm-hmm. When did you see it? I just walked up about a few minutes ago. God almighty, another one? Seems like every day is something, something different, isn't it? For years, we hadn't seen anything like this, nothing. And this here is the third one we've seen. According to over at Skinwalker, they, you know, they have these mutilations over there too. Yeah, about uh, three months ago. Well, apparently we got a little bit of it now. We've never had these kind of problems before, so whatever's going on here, I, I sure hope it stops, because, uh, uh, you know, you can just tell it's not right. Might be getting a little dangerous out here. We need to kind of be watching our backs all the time now. I mean, everything, every animal will clean this mess up. They don't do this. They don't gut the sun buck and take the head, my gosh. I hope this isn't some sort of a warning sign that we're on top of a burial ground. Now what do we do with this one? I just think we ought to leave it here as a trap. Set a camera up right over in those trees and let's just leave it right here. And see if we can't pick something up on a game camera. Good for me. I'll move camera over here. At my house where I live, we've had our own little experience. It gives me goosebumps just to even talk about that. A tribal member used to walk up and down in front of our house all the time, lean on our fence, and dance. I got really worried about it, and I called a friend of mine who is a shaman. He said, you need to do something about him. He's trying to suck the good out and to let the evil in. So now, of course, I'm freaked out. And then we started seeing this big dog. I never saw the guy and the dog at the same time, but he always came from that direction. Then the dog started coming onto our property. I, I felt like we were constantly being watched. One day, the sun was starting to come up and I'm looking out the window. Well, there's my horses and all four of them are standing butt to butt. And there's that dog again. And this time he's circling my horses. And I'm like, okay, I'm done with this dog. So I grabbed my gun off the bar. I literally had one bullet left in the chamber. So I'm like trying to sneak up on him. And that dog stops and looks right at me. And I just pulled up and I shot and he dropped. Just dropped. He didn't twitch, he didn't run, he just dropped. I called my husband and I said, when you get home, will you please get rid of the dog? And he could not find a bullet hole. No blood, nothing. And how do you explain that? I don't, I can't, I don't know. But about two days later, we read an obituary and that Native American kid was found dead in his home. It was a skinwalker. These mutilated animals are totally a distraction, but we have to stay focused just on getting into the caverns. What do we do from here? There's, there's got to be an entry point around this some buck. I don't think it's going to be on top of the mountain where the... No. You know, that wouldn't be very feasible for them some of bucks to... Yeah. Enter up there anyway. I mean, those petroglyphs up there, they're probably labeling something. They're showing that something's there. I mean, we don't know what, but uh, we just have to keep looking around that area, I guess. Mm hmm Let's just use common sense about this deal. If we were whoever's hiding it, you know, we would cover it up where it looks pretty natural. Right. If you was hiding a daggum stash of whatever, thousand pounds of gold, you would do a lot of things to make it look natural to cover that sunbuck up. Right. He'd have to. Yeah, true. So we got to think like they thought. Yeah. We still need to check if these are sacred grounds. Yeah. But in the meantime, let's keep searching for another entrance without disturbing anything. So yeah. I'll, I'll just go on foot around the petroglyphs and uh, see if we can see something there. Yeah, I think that's the only way to do it right now. That's perfect. Let's do it. OK.
Most of the time we've been here has all been at the cavern, you know, where all the water was, just looking for a hole in there. But at least like 80% of all this other stuff hasn't been explored to the extent that we need to. I mean, as far as to find another entrance, it could be anywhere out here. So we're just really trying to spend some time and, and look all around here for any, any little cracks or holes or something that we can get in that cavern because we know they all go through here. We know that there is gold in the caverns. We just have to find the best spot to enter and the safest spot, you know. Um, no one wants to get hurt, but we definitely know that there is stuff here. So there's a cavern up here, but we'll just check it out. There are all are small little caverns in there, but can't see anything in there. I mean, this, this whole area is pretty new. Basically, we're on the other side of the mountain. That's where our dig site is. So we're just trying to cover this part of the ranch to see you know, if we're missing something. On the roads, you, you, you can't see all these spots at all. So just hiking it is definitely the best way to find something for sure. Uh, just kind of get boots on the ground over here to see if we can actually find something. I don't know, we haven't had any luck yet. Ah, oh, yeah, we'll probably just head back. Might as well, man. Sorry for keeping you so late. Follow you, I guess. All right, cool, man. Let's head back. What the hey, right over here. Look at this. Holy man. This thing's huge. You see this? It's a huge cave that goes, I don't know how far in there. There's a bat in there, there's three bats, four. Here they go. There's bats all in there, man. No telling how far it goes. I, I can't even see the end of it at all, man. Holy I gotta call the crew, man. Hey, y'all need to come over uh, south of the dig site. I found a huge cave over here. I think I found the entrance. 